Good evening, friends. Welcome to Up Up, Down Down, Left to Right. Amen. Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. We got the New Year in there, but Christmas isn't over until Epiphany. It's your 12 days there. I don't make the rules. I just gotta follow them. Christmas is a week and a half. Nearly two weeks. Always has been. To celebrate, we had a Christmas game two weeks ago. We got another Baby Jesus game this week. I hesitated to do this one. It's actually a whole set, and maybe we'll play through them all. The Jesus Christ RPG Trilogy. Baby Jesus Christ is the first one chrono chronologically. It was not the first one released. Uh, these all came out, I believe, in 2013. Uh, though they were repackaged together in 2016. They're on Steam now, but they're also generally just available for free. I don't know much about who made them. Uh, even their website doesn't have a lot of information. It's got a blog updating on other projects that the announced release from 2013 of Jesus Christ RPG is like the fourth oldest blog post. So they haven't been doing a lot of stuff on there. Uh, but they have continued to make new work, uh, including other things that are listed on Steam that are not religious which is another point where I hesitate. One, this is one of the newest games we played, though 2013 is still whew, nine years ago. That maybe qualifies as retro, depending on how old you are. Uh, but the other thing is, I'm not sure if these are in earnest or not. I have so far focused on games produced by, well, not all of them, by Christians, but for a Christian marketplace. Particularly, almost all of them with an evangelical bent. This one, I don't know about. It's jokey, but other games are, have jokes. It doesn't being jokey doesn't mean it's not real. Uh, it's called Baby Jesus Christ RPG. Just the title sends up red flags of this is definitely some sort of satire or sarcasm at the very least. Uh, but I've run across reviews that suggest this is an earnest telling of the life of Jesus. A, a video game version of the Gospels. Uh, I don't know. Uh, so we're going to play it. And we're going to find out. And if at the end of tonight I think this is in earnest, we'll keep playing it. Maybe next week, if we don't finish Baby Jesus Christ, we'll finish that or play one of the other of the three. Uh, in the fourth one, or the third one rather, in the third one, uh, you play through the harrowing of hell. And I'm really interested if this is for real. <laughs> in that I'm really just interested I'm curious uh, so yeah we'll dive in and we'll see if this is serious or not and if it is maybe it'll be fun oh <laughs> that's that's my tears right here is it serious uh, <laughs> is it fun is it good those are three different things uh Serious and fun maybe come into what is good, but yeah. The angel Gabriel was sent by God to a town of Galilee called Nazareth to a virgin engaged to a man whose name was Joseph, a descendant of David, and the virgin's name was Mary. There we go. Some Okay. So this came out in 2013, but it's built in RPG Maker. Uh, RPG Maker has had a lot of additions, and I'm told that you can legitimately purchase them. However, my experience with RPG Maker is uh, downloading it through Napster or or some other peer-to-peer -peer service uh, starting in, I think 2001 was the first experience I had with RPG Maker. 
uh, it still exists, um, and there's plenty of plenty of games built on different iterations of RPG Maker, but this one is among them. So, yeah, uh, generally RPG Maker makes top-down, uh, sort of NES 8-bit, 16-bit style RPGs. That's what most people end up making with it. It's a little more powerful than that, I understand. Uh, you can do different things, maybe more modern things, but uh, I'm betting that's what we're going to experience here. From screenshots I've seen, it is. Adrian Gabriel, greetings, favored one. The Lord is with you. Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God. This is so far serious. Listen, you will become pregnant and give birth to a son, and you will name him Jesus. How will this be, since I am a virgin, says the Virgin Mary. Angel Gabriel, the Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. This is, literally, this is Luke chapter 1. Therefore, the child will be born, will be holy, he will be called the Son of God. Yes, I am a servant of the Lord, let this happen to me according to your word. Now, unfortunately, they have just skipped uh, Mary's song. Hopefully we don't skip too much of that. Oh, I found 200 gold. And a fish. And another fish. Can we get anything out of these? Doesn't look like it. Can't go back to bed. Indoor plumbing here at Mary's house. Nice hearth. A lot of wine. Wine's good. Yeah, pretty classic RPG Maker setup. Holy people don't deal with magic. Magicians don't have the angels to help them. Boy, I'm hungry. Doors closed. Help a poor kid. Buy something. Buy bread, fish, water, wine, egg, battle saw. All right. Let's buy a battle saw. Mary gets a battle saw. Let's buy the egg too. That's all my money. Make sure. Oh, wait. Why? I can't equip the battle saw yet. Hmm. I wonder if I'm goofing up or... Make sure there's nowhere else in town I can go. It's a pretty big town. But all the doors are closed. There we go. Herod's just a puppet. Do I want to join our revolution? <sighs> Mary does. Mary definitely wants to join the revolution. Mary found out she's pregnant, went to see her cousin, and then sang a song about how all of the tyrants of the world were about to fall. Mary wants this revolution. I wonder what happens if you say no. Form a slime ball. All right. Very big day. It's a very big store. Yeah. Joseph, son of David, do not be afraid. Take Mary of your wife. Again, this is.
All right, I picked up I picked up Joseph for my party. Can you say read the Found hammers? I want that letter. There we go. Move my light so I can see the letter. This is not the worst the worst music we've had in Christian video game history. Cordially invited to participate in the tax census. They have to have to kill you so that you can Oh, this is good. Dearest ones. Quirinus, governor of Syria. P.S. I know you live in Judea, and my mandate is only valid for Syria, but geography isn't one of the most respected for strong suits, so just play along, okay? <laughs> ah, hanging lampshades on Bible mistakes. Good job. Uh, all right. So Joseph has built a bunch of cabinets and chairs. Good job, Joseph. All right. Can we get back? Yeah, it's not so bad so far. Uh, I still don't. I still don't know why I don't get to uh, equip weapons. But maybe Mary and Joseph don't have to fight yet. I guess we hit the road. Oh no. Desert bandits. Desert thief. Desert Robert. Desert Robert. <laughs> I can't I can't read. Oh no! I shouldn't have gone into the desert. All right. Well. Wow. I couldn't equip the couldn't equip the battle saw. Well, now we can speed run the village, but I do, I do have to join the revolution. That is a plus, a thing that has to have it. Okay, Angel Gabriel, read the letter. It's a legitimately good piece of comedy writing in the letter. Caesar Augustus, who gave us the month after months after July. Why why is this so smart? This is too smart. I like this game. and buy stuff from the boy. Not that boy. Oh, Joseph can have the battle saw. I misunderstood. 
I thought Mary got the battle saw, but I guess it's Joseph, and maybe that's my problem. Okay. Why... <laughs> Why do they... That's just bad game design. Why do they give me the battle hammer, hammer to start out, but also give me enough money to immediately buy the better battle saw? All right, so Joseph Joseph can have a saw or a hammer. Pregnant Mary's not allowed to fight. A little misogynistic, but... We need to go to Bethlehem, which is, I guess, to the left. That's Jerusalem, and this should be Bethlehem. Oh, I immediately left Bethlehem. <laughs> I'm fighting someone for the room. Uh, can I? I can't escape. I guess. Oh. <laughs> Tourist has gone to hell. But I got 90 XP for it. Found wine. Found egg. And I leveled up. <laughs> Good. He didn't actually die. He apologized. Oh no! <laughs> I like that everybody apologizes after I fight them. That's very good. Foreshadowing. Guess we'll find another tourist. No, I won't. He's a good tourist. You think I'm rude? Have you ever worked in hospitality? I'm doing a 16 hour shift tonight because my colleague is sick. Yeah, sick of this work that is. That's good. That's what it's like to work at a hotel at Christmas. So. Like. This kid wants to sell me a battle axe for 10,000 gold. One time, uh, I was working at Christmas, and I worked uh, the evening of Christmas Eve, and then had a back-to-back. -back. That means I opened Christmas Day for a double. So I worked a 16-hour shift on Christmas Day after working Christmas Eve. But my boss, my boss gave me a uh, a room in the hotel that night. And then forced one of my other coworkers to put a Christmas tree into that room. <clears throat> so for six hours, I got to enjoy the light of a Christmas tree in a hotel room while I tried to sleep. I wonder if that's a programming error or what. Yeah, very nice.
<laughs> Here we go. There we go. I have paid a hundred dollars to stay in the stable of the most rundown inn in town. We got sheep. Oh, do I get to play as the Wiseman too? I do. Bridges are haunted. Good. So now I'm the three wise men. Who are magic magic users. The Zoroastrians. Good. Thank you. I will try to beat the haunted bridge. I hope the bridge itself is the enemy when I arrive. I like this. A little background information that the uh, the magi are magicians. That is what that word means. Read that book? I can't read that book. I have a thousand gold. <laughs> well, if they can all use the battle axe, they should all use the battle axe. Everybody's geared up. Can't go upstairs. Only one place left to go. Straight out the door. Was I able to read that? There we go. Heals and revives everyone. The Magi is a good opportunity for some real RPG stuff. This was, this was smart thinking. HP doesn't go up when I level up. But my strength does. I'm not gonna waste my eggs refilling my HP. There we go. It's a weird decision. 
It's abnormal. <laughs> I'm kicking desert thieves' butts. Oh, I should see what magic they have. Uh, they... <laughs> My magi don't have any magic powers. It's very disappointing. on that haunted bridge. My Magi are a little overpowered. It's unthinkable that you might wander into a foreign country to worship some baby messiah. They were setting up that, so I guess it... Time it should come. Ghost of the Ancient Prophet. Of course, the bridge is haunted by <laughs> Sarathustra. <laughs> All right. get a hard wait why is oh that's a problem I should pay attention to what I'm doing Killed the ghost. <laughs> These guys are Zoroastrians, so I've just I've killed the ghost of the prophet of their religion, which is not the best contextually, but okay. Everybody's leveled up. that health doesn't increase when you level up.
Alright. <laughs> Alright, I need the Sword of Gilgamesh. Tower of Babel. I have a lot of... Alright. Well... My three spears. And one sort of Gilgamesh. Balthasar. I'll give you the sword. Oh, I see. Basing my weapon decisions on power. Ever notice no one likes foreigners? Why am I so concerned? Hmm. Myself? Yes. Cool. Alright. Well, I hope the next bridge isn't haunted too. Oh no! A deep enough reference, I don't know it. Ahura Mazda. Ahura Mazda is the supreme deity. Oh, so, okay. We killed the prophet, so now we've got to fight their god. I wasn't, uh, I wasn't expecting to kill lesser gods in this game, but I guess it makes sense. Oh, that's nice. That's a... That's interesting design. So Ramaza is traditionally portrayed with wings. So when I thought it was just the face, that was more interesting as I. Now it's just a disembodied blob. But hey. kicking my butt. Ah. It's actually for resurrection. That makes sense. Thanks. Oh, there we go. some fish.
Why does it seem like... I said, to, I said to equip the Sword of Gilgamesh before I did this fight, but the Sword of Gilgamesh doesn't actually seem to... Oh, I sent there. I sent the False God to Hell. Hell doesn't exist as a concept uh, in this era, but that's all right. All right. Oh. Lolith was not that strong. I can't cross that bridge. I do have to use magic, though. Hmm. All right. Red. Welcome to the ruins of Babylon. We live in the shadows of past glories, and that's what suits us best. Oh, I'm so glad I healed right before I got to the Menorachia Spring. It was bad timing on my part. <laughs> Game's got jokes. Game's got good jokes. Honestly. Okay, so I was supposed to have stopped here on my way anyway. Is that it? There's nothing? No secrets? No one's selling anything? Did I talk to this guy? No, I haven't talked to this guy. everything. Yeah. Alright. Let's give Gaspar... Oh! We can equip... Well, that's...
Well, that's that's good to learn. I can equip two weapons on everybody. Desert Chief, we're in the woods. What are you even doing? Ancient text that you somehow can read says, In this tower lies a king who dared to touch the sky and ended up kissing the ground. Remember that those who seek glory shall find nothing but humiliation. Uh, why do I like this game theologically so much? Abandon hope all ye with an accent. <laughs> There are many languages, all spoke. <laughs> Same thing, yeah. Oh no! Things a lot stronger than I expected it to be. Should use Gilgamesh from the beginning, I guess. Um, yikes. Good thing we have so many eggs. Would you like an egg in this trying time? the one that really kicked my butt last time, so... No? This, this one was super easy. The last one, for some reason, killed me a lot. I'm gaining 666 experience every time I kill one of these demons. Wink. Bye. <laughs> 
I have a feeling we're about to have some sort of boss fight, so... Should heal up. We're fighting Nimrod. Now Nimrod is not the king over the power of Babel, I don't think. Pretty sure that's wrong. Later, <coughs> extra biblical sources do identify Nimrod as the king in the tower of Babel's story. So there's that. I got the dictionary. See if anybody's messaging changes. That was the guy selling stuff. All right. Welcome to Rudia. Do you, uh, you want to go meet King Herod? I do. Well, there we go. There's Jerusalem. I should head there. This desert thief looks like an alien. Desert Robert, sorry. Desert Robert. Oh, there's a cactus blocking my way. I, think I have plenty of plenty of bread and wine. I'm hungry. We'll also join. Join the revolution over here, too. All PCs must join the revolution. 
All right. Specs too. Very nice. I was them. All right, no change into NPC interactions. I guess we'll just go straight. Hey, baby. Wise men decide that Herod is a creep. Oh, mm, they told it. Oh, now I'm the Holy Family again. Oh, they gave me a couple of things. Mer. Basically made sure Jesus can't die for now. So that's good. Alright. <laughs> but only in these situations. In general, being female is an endless grief. Some men don't get that no means no. Keep bothering. I'm working on a spray against men. Actually, it's a shark repellent, just a bit stronger. Oops, sorry to hold you up. I guess you need to flee now, especially with these soldiers encroaching upon us. I wish my men repellent was ready. Oh boy. Oh, Mary doesn't have the AP. Oh, it's a somewhat... In TP. Baby Jesus can't attack. You can only refrain and use items. Okay, cool. Oh, okay. Mary's holy support anyway. Cool. Alright.
Something like Joshua. Oh, man. Game's got jokes, I said. All right. Joseph can dual wield the battle axes. Not very nice. All right. Alright, the killing the killing Roman soldiers probably uh were a little well extra biblical. Uh Mary packs a punch. That was a trick question. All cops are bad. <clears throat> All right. So now we head to Egypt. Oh. Totalitarian tot killing tyrant Herod and two guards. Angels. Oh, no, first off. Wine. Very nice. Uh, 
Okay. Uh... some fish. Am I supposed to fail this? This doesn't... Well, that's disappointing. Herod killed me. The baby Jesus. That had to have been the final boss, right? Let's confirm that. Baby Jesus RPG. Walk through. This was fun. Just for gold farming. Why would you need to gold farm? about I have to have been about done let's see all right if I had managed to be arid great television right I'm trying to there's no actual walkthrough so I'm watching someone else's playthrough to see if this is actually the final boss uh, and all all sources suggest yes I'm glad that the playthrough I'm watching uh, Jesus is already dead by the time they get to Herod <laughs> Alright. So there's just some closing credits. Citation that the Bible quotes are from the Net Bible. Alright. Had I beat Herod, I would have beat the game. But I did not beat Herod, unfortunately. But this was fun enough and earnest enough uh, that I think we'll continue with these Jesus Christ RPGs. We'll, uh, we'll play the next one next week and See how it goes. There is regular Jesus Christ RPG, which is Jesus' ministry, and then Rise Jesus Christ, I believe is the name, and the final one, which is uh, post-resurrection, and as I said, the harrowing of hell. <laughs> so, real interested in that. Uh, as far as playing through the Christmas story, this was a little more interesting than last week's uh, King of Kings, the early years, the 
uh, the old desk game. Uh, definitely, uh, I mean, look at this. This is built. It could be an S game by the looks. Uh, RBG Maker is all about 8-bit stuff. But it's got some interesting things going on. Uh, really, really liked uh, the... Really liked the three wise men being magic users fighting their way through the desert, <laughs> fighting various demons. <laughs> Extra biblical, certainly, but uh, but a fun and interesting interpretation. Uh, certainly better than their camel spitting at various animals. Uh, yeah. Uh, killed some false gods, killed some demons, found a dictionary in the Tower of Babel, learned that Nimrod's associated with the Tower of Babel. I honestly had no idea. Uh, Tower of Babel, fun. All about trying to get to the heavens because you're really powerful. And turns out, uh, going to space doesn't doesn't get you closer to God. Sorry, rich people. It's in the Bible. But yeah, this was interesting. Uh, definitely interesting. The uh, the Roman soldiers actually fighting Roman soldiers as the Holy Family is uh, a little problematic. Um, the Magi murdering actual people, not great either. Uh, the fact that the game added desert bandits instead of making this holy, holy spiritual on the Magi end, and I getting around. Given how they incorporate the <coughs> excuse me, a little water. Ugh. Given how the game incorporates, <coughs> I wasn't done. Apparently, I'm choking. So give me a second. <coughs> All right. Well, I guess that's an indication this should be over. But anyway. <coughs> Whew. I promise I'm all right. Just uh, some water went down the wrong tube. Given how they incorporate the murder of the innocents, uh, obviously they had to have the soldiers show up. And it makes for a more exciting game. Uh, the actual biblical story is that the Magis do not, uh, are not the ones who say, hey, go to Egypt. Instead, that is an angel appearing to Joseph in a dream. Uh, I guess they didn't want us to have another dream sequence for some reason. Uh, we already had conversation with other angels, so might as well. But they didn't. Uh, and, you know, they're building up to the final boss of Fighting Herod. So they took some liberties. Uh, and they took some liberties by having more people die. Uh, I would appreciate it. Uh, not just references to... Uh, zealous uh, revolutionaries within Judea, but a more overt reference to Mary's song uh, would have always been appreciated. But they didn't do that either. So, I look forward to seeing how this game deals with uh, Jesus' actual ministry and what that means as far as the fighting sequences of an RPG. Uh, yeah. So we'll, we'll keep playing this. We'll see what the next week's like. We ought to be able to do about one a week, just from what I know about how long they are. So, hopefully, that'll work out. This is fun. Merry Christmas again. Still the Christmas season for a couple more days. To Epiphany. Uh, celebrating the Magi. And lamenting the murder of the innocents. Happy New Year as well. I have showed you all this before. But really is my New Year's resolutions thanks to Ben Wildflower. Demand Utopia. Stay hydrated. I hope you all demand Utopia and stay hydrated. Work to Utopia. It's the reason for the season. Thank you for watching. Up, up, down, down, left, right. 
Amen. I am, as always, Adam Glass. We'll see you next week for more Jesus Christ RPG. Have a good one. <laughs>